All right, guys, welcome back to Cincy Diesel Repair. Um, if you're watching the video right now of me putting a new water pump in my truck, then I mentioned this truck. I'll do a quick Diag video of it. Um, 08 F350 64 diesel, uh, 350 single wheel, 8 foot bed King Ranch. I really like this truck. Uh, nice King Ranch interior. It's even got the split bucket seats with the uh, TV up there. Uh, it, you know, all these used trucks tell a story. This one came from the same dealership from the white truck. Uh, this one, if I had to guess, it was owned by someone who cared about it for a long time. And then most recently, once I got the tailgate unlocked, can't get unlocked it's full of uh, drywalls tools and stuff so contractor bought it didn't take very good care of it. I mean look at the brake dust on that and uh, ran into an expensive problem and went to the went to the auto auction got traded in so I've honestly the only thing I've done with this truck is picked it up at the dealer let it run for a little while at the dealer, pulled the um, oil fill cap, checked for blow-by, didn't really have any blow-by, not much. It's got 188,000 on it, um, and ran it long enough to notice a horrible misfire. Tons of smoke, purple smoke. So this is the first time I'm really getting a chance to look at it. We'll start it up here. Uh, it's deleted. Uh, I think it's I think it's straight piped. But anyway, first thing is let's check the coolant. I didn't even check the coolant before I drove it home. That wasn't very smart. Completely empty. That's that's not a good start. Uh, secondary for the. It's you guys can't see it, but it's there, but it's low. That's the fuel cooler, and somebody's been in there. That is not the right washer. Somebody's been in here. See, this is that copper crush washer is the right washer. This one with this rubber, that's not right. Somebody's been in here messing around. Look at that, they didn't put the clamp back here. Somebody's probably been in here recently. Look how shiny the uh, connection tube is between the turbos. This turbo actually looks really new. I bet this was put in not long ago. Um, yeah. Doesn't look like they replaced both of them though. New feed lines, oil feed lines. Is it? No. Just new. What is going on with these? What is that? Alright. Anyway. So, basic overview of it. Looks like some hokey repairs done here. Um, a lot of oil sprayed up here in the front. Don't know why. The oil is full. I uh, didn't check the power steering. Oh, you know what? The power steering's low. I could feel it. Uh, that was cute. And the Hydra Boost braking. Yep. That's probably what all the oil in the front of the motor is. We got a power steering leak somewhere. Are you shitting me? Hold on. I gotta find this. Okay, so moving inside here. Let's get going with the scanner. And yes... I got a snap-on scanner. I still have my auto ingenuity. I have not um, updated or, re or bought a new license for my uh, Ford IDS because I decided to go this route instead. Uh, I have some you know, there's a Chevy Suburban in front of here. I got to do some work from. I do do some work on gasoline, mainly my stuff. 
and you know some friends and family so I want to try this thing out and the only problem I have with auto ingenuity over this is the cylinder contribution test uh, really auto ingenuity can do almost everything this can on these motors uh, except for I believe and somebody correct me if I'm wrong but um, entering the serial numbers for a new injector coding in new injectors and it'll do cylinder contribution on the auto ingenuity but it won't shut off the um, the balance that's built into the ECM so if one injector goes down a little to a 20% down it'll dumb the rest of the injectors down the same so the truck won't skip um, you have to be able to shut that off to get a good reading and you can do that in here actually it does it for you so anyway you got check engine light low tire pressure let's do a let's just do an engine scan and see what codes we get um, and bear with me I'm still trying to learn this here we go yes okay cylinder six glow plug circuit that can't be it I mean that's probably bad but I can't be the only did I already no I've been into this all right well anyway let me start it real quick and show you guys this thing has a horrible skip and smokes I mean when you take off that freaking smoke will cover an entire lane of traffic smoke and horrible you can hear the skip it stinks I don't know if the camera picks up the whole motor shaking. Sounds awful. Look at see if the see the door shaking. Bad skip. So I can't believe let's check the codes one more time. Um Whoa, okay. So I got cylinder six, five, four, one, seven, and two contribution. So everything but three. And was that random? Random misfire. Holy hell. Plus cylinder six. Uh, glow plug. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Let's run a... I would do an injector electrical test, but we definitely have a cylinder balance problem here. So that's what we're going to run as a power balance test. And see, this will shut off the fuel injector comprehension strategy. That's what you need to shut off so that it, the motor is not trying to balance everything out. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. We got six is totally dead uh, eight not not much better there um, I'd like to make that bigger oops that's not what I meant to do hold on bear with me all right there we go. That's what I was trying to get. So the, the center line represents your base center. Uh, that w wasn't explained very well, but that's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so cylinder six is totally bottomed out. And then it said what? The only one we didn't have a code for was cylinder three. So that's okay. 
and I think the reason we have codes for all the rest of them are that it's trying to it's trying to pick up for these bad cylinders by ramping up the others but it's I mean it's total it's total garbage and I can clear clear it, it I mean it's exactly the same nothing is changing uh, let's see I gone hit the wrong thing again. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. So anyway, there you go. Six, seven. Look like they're. Seven's not quite all the way dropped out. So let's do this. Let's. Let's kill injector seven. Uh, yeah, I don't feel any difference in the motor. Um, let's enable all of them. Let's do, let's turn on the fuel comprehension strategy. Really didn't get anywhere with that. Let's turn it back off. Clear out the lines again. Okay, so it's pretty clear. Six cylinder seven. Well, three's falling out now too. Shut off three. Well, you can you notice it. You definitely notice it. Let's turn it back on. It turn on. What the hell's my stylus thing? My damn hands too fat to I got chub fingers here uh, let's get that's the problem I have a touch and focus I'm trying to get done here there we are okay let's enable all so all injectors are back in now let's clear out the lines see now three's back up so if this, and my foot camera shading because of the truck, if that's the line, cylinder four is actually, uh, wait, no, that's not what I, oh wow, we're making all kinds of, clear out all these lines again. Trying to get to cylinder four. Oh, we can scroll down. That helps too. All right, let's kill cylinder four. Yeah, I, I don't feel any difference. Strange. Um, ah, shoot. Backed out of it. Man, this thing stinks. It's it is stinking it up in here. Let's see. So let's enable all. So there, the yellow line represents your your uh, bottom out, your zero line. So we want to see the lines up here as even as possible. Down here, not good. Way down here, real bad. So let's hit this. Let's kill four again. Uh, all right. I got nothing. No difference. Alright, let's turn it back on. Let me enable all just to make sure it's back on. Yeah. Uh, let's try cylinder... Let's try cylinder 8 just to see if this thing is responding properly. Oh yeah, can feel that one. Turn them back on. Clear out the lines. So six four. Um, 
and seven. Six, four, and seven seem to be our main issue, I'm thinking. But we need to go beyond. Let's shut this thing off, man. It stinks. Okay, so the thing you have to remember is the cylinder uh, cylinder contribution means that it doesn't mean the injector is bad necessarily especially if you're testing on a 6.4 that are known for cracked pistons and valve train problems and head problems um, it means that you have a difference in RPM uh, speed in that cylinder that piston is traveling at a different speed than the others so when you're dealing with something like this you really got to uh, assess several things the smoke coming out of the tailpipe doesn't smell like oil it smells like fuel the there's not much blow by so that kind of points away from a cracked piston or bad rings or anything like that um, but I'm not going to go throw at least three injectors in it I mean I'd like to do all eight if this was a customer's truck and not the dealership truck I would highly highly recommend we do all eight uh, he's not going to do that and not to say that it hasn't had some injectors replaced I mean we'll find out when we get in there but um, so what we're going to do is not tonight because I'm shot I gotta finish putting that water pump on it's been a long day uh, maybe tomorrow we'll pull the wheel well liners and I'll do a compression test pull the glow plug out and do a compression test on especially cylinders what I say seven six six seven and three and probably do all of them but especially those we're gonna start with those because if we find a problem there then game over I gotta call them and let them know we got it's not just an injector swap job, <clears throat> but I don't think that I don't think this motor is shot. I don't think this motor has a major issue. I'm hoping it's just injectors, and we can get away with, or not get away with, but fix it properly with just a, some injectors. So anyway, I will do another video um, on the compression test. Probably do a couple part series on this one. We'll do the compression test, see what that gives us, and then uh, he'll want to quote from there depending on what it is. Unless I do find uh, bad compression on one of the cylinders, then I'd say he'll probably take it back and ship it to the auction. Because he's not going to put a motor in it. <clears throat> no, I don't blame him. I mean, freaking awesome truck, man. Come and swap truck. This is it. If I didn't have so much stuff going on, I'd buy this right now. I'd really, I'd probably build my own 6.4 and put in it. I like the 6.4 trucks, I really do. When they run good, they're fantastic. They just don't run good very long. But I think you can, I've never tried it, but I think we can build one. I think I could build one that would last, be reliable. I think I can do it. I don't have that much money. You guys, uh, you guys need to make me some money on here so I can we'll, we'll do a 64 project but right now I got I got seven three money that's what I got and it's in an ambulance anyway oops anyway um, so that's it next step uh, compression test because you don't want to get bit in the ass by throwing some injectors in it they're not cheap just to find out the motors junk so compression test We'll film that maybe tomorrow night. I got grass to cut, stuff to do, but we'll 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 give it our best shot, and then we'll go from there. So as always, guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if this is stuff you guys want to see, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate it.